Hello. Hello, sexy people of Halifax. All right. Fair enough. Hello, everyone else. Uh, yeah, the world's, uh, the world's going to hell in a handbasket, so um, you guys want to talk about cats? Yeah. Let's talk about cats, guys. Oh, I, I have to say, I'm kind, of, uh, I'm kind of bored of my day job. I'm, I'm kind of bored of being a vet. I know, you don't want to hear that from your vet. Just phoning in. I've been doing it 15 years, though. I'm, I'm bored. I'm done. I'm done. I think I've killed my last cat. I'm done. <laughs> I have hit my quota. I am I'm done. But, but it's, like, it's like any job. It gets repetitive after a while. So but my day is just like vaccinate something, chop off some balls, kill a cat. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Hope you got the right room. It's <laughs> So awkward. But every now and then something fun will happen to kind of kind of brighten up my day. I, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I got to diagnose my first high cat a few weeks ago, which is super fun. I've diagnosed a ton of high dogs. Because dogs are stupid. And dogs love eating pot. It's delicious to them. And they, they all come in looking exactly the same. It, nothing but pupils. Just huge pupils going on upstairs. Super wobbly, they're just like, oh God, oh my God, I'm so high, I'm so high. And then they just pee, they just walk and pee. It's just what they do. It's, it's cla I can diagnose it from across the street. I'm like, I'm like that dog is high. <laughs> Uh, the only problem with, with fixing them is getting their owners to admit <laughs> what happened. I'm like, your, your dog is high. And they're like, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm like, no, your, your dog is like really high right now. I'm like, no, no, he's not high. He's not high. I'm like, do, do you want to do $1,000 worth of tests? Or do you just want to tell me that your dog is high? <laughs> like, yeah, okay, you might be a little bit high. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs>